If you're working with CAD CAM, laser cutters, 3D printers, CNC machines, you can't work with bitmap files. And that includes .jpegs. Now, here I have a .jpeg logo that I need to convert into a vector file so I can laser this file out. Now, this is the simplest situation you're going to find yourself in. What I've got here is a single color logo and the resolution is very high. I've got 2,500 pixels by 2,500. Now, what this is going to allow me to do is use the image trace function in Adobe Illustrator to vectorize this JPEG. Now, my box is here, but if you don't have this box, um, this menu, sorry, here, you can go up to Window and down to Image Trace. So select your JPEG and you get your bounding box. We're just going to go up to Image Trace. It's telling me it's a big file, so it might take some time. We click OK. These settings are OK for this logo, um, so I'm just going to click Expand. And you can see it's done a very good job apart from on this line here for some reason. What we're looking for is these points only in the corners or if there's any curves, maybe two points to indicate the curve. And like I say, apart from this line, it seems like a very good um, vectorization. Now what we can do is just go in quickly, delete all the white bits so that we only have this black logo and tidy it up a little bit by getting rid of all these extra points that we do not actually need. Now the more of these points that you have, the larger the file size and the more difficult it is to laser cut or use in any program really. So that's looking pretty good to me. If I change that like that, we can see the outline. And that is a very usable file for a laser cutter. Now, in the next video, you're going to see it's not always this simple. Um, sometimes you'll have multiple colors and sometimes you won't have the resolution you need and you won't be able to find a large enough resolution picture to get the result you want this easily. So stay tuned for the second part of this video where I go over a few other techniques you can use with low resolution JPEGs that are a bit more complex than this one.